For the static alignment and dynamic optimization, the empower needs to be switched off. Let the user know that the weight of the foot is more noticeable when it's switched off. The Empower Setup app includes alignment recommendations for the static alignment. Please follow the instructions in the app step by step. First, check the length of the prosthesis. Then determine the pivot point for the knee and mark it on the prosthetic socket. Then make a second mark 15 millimeters anterior to the pivot point on the socket. Adjust the plantar flexion position of the prosthetic foot to ensure that the load line runs along the second anterior mark. Then move and or pronate or supinate the prosthetic foot in a medial lateral direction to ensure that the load line runs through the center of the prosthetic foot 50 millimeters in front of the foot adapter. The load line should run along the lateral edge of the patella. The goal of the dynamic optimization is a physiological knee movement. The first goal is to avoid a completely extended knee joint during heel strike. The alignment should encourage a slight knee flexion moment during initial stance phase. A more physiological knee movement can be achieved if the AP position of the prosthetic foot is optimized. Therefore, please check the following points. Is there too much knee flexion during load transfer? If yes, move the prosthetic foot in the anterior direction and or use a softer heel wedge. Note, the powered push-off at toe-off will be triggered earlier as well as intensified. Is there insufficient knee flexion during load transfer? If yes, move the prosthetic foot in the posterior direction and or use a firmer heel wedge. Note, the powered push-off in late stance will be triggered later as well as diminished. Once alignment in the sagittal plane is complete, please examine the coronal plane. Is there an excessive varus moment during load transfer? If yes, move the prosthetic foot in the lateral direction. Note, adjust the external rotation so that the foot's inside edge of the shoe is parallel to the line of progression. Is there an excessive valgus moment at the end of the mid-stance phase? If yes, move the prosthetic foot in the medial direction. Note, adjust the external rotation so that the foot's inside edge of the shoe is parallel to the line of progression. The behavior of the prosthetic foot at heel strike and during heel contact in the mid-stance phase can be adapted by replacing the heel wedge. Heel wedges of various hardness are included in the scope of delivery. The color of the heel wedge indicates the durometer. Autobach recommends to start with the pre-installed gray heel wedge. If the user desires a firmer heel strike, please choose the black wedge. For a softer heel strike, please choose the transparent wedge.